Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another fragrance review. Thank you all very much for tuning in. And in this video, I have the pleasure of speaking to you a little bit about a fragrance by the company Theo Parfum and the fragrance is called 1989, so stay tuned. Now, 1989 was actually released in 2014. I don't know why it's called 1989. Maybe that's when the perfumer was born. The perfumer is uh, Greek, so he's based out of Crete. His name is Theodoros Kalotinis. And with this particular fragrance, it is his take on patchouli, but it also has raspberry, some other sweet nuances, a little bit of olibanum, which is known as frankincense, and then we have black and pink pepper. Now, the bottle is pretty small, but I think it's a classy looking bottle, so let's take a look at it up close. As you can tell, it's a very classy bottle, just has the name of the fragrance and the name of the company up here on the front. Nothing going on at the bottom. The cap does click into place, and the distribution on the atomizer is really wide for this one. Ah, that's a great smell. And that was the presentation for 1989 by Theo Parfum. Now, when I first sprayed this on, I knew immediately that it reminded me of something, but I couldn't quite put my finger or my nose on what it reminded me of. I was getting some nuances here and there of some sort of remnants of my childhood that were familiar to me, and then I figured it out. This reminds me of a freshly opened pack of cigarettes. Now, I know that that might turn some people off, and please don't click away, uh, because this doesn't smell like stale cigarette smoke, it doesn't smell like an ashtray. It doesn't smell like your shirt after you've visited a hookah bar or something like that. But it smells like the sweet, uh, sort of uh, freshly opened pack of cigarettes. It just smells like the tobacco. It's not smoky. There's no birch tar. There's no smoky nuances. Although there is a little bit of pepper in here, black and pink pepper, but it's not like a Piper Negrum. It's not like a Rose Poivre. It's not like one of those fragrances that you're going to smell and it's going to uh, sting your nostrils, so to speak. This one has a lot of patchouli, so it does have some influences of like Hindu grass by Nasamato, where it's really dense and sort of sweet and chocolatey. And then you gotta think it's compounded with this raspberry note that further enhances the sweetness. And then when it dries down, you get a little bit of that ecclesiastical feel due to the note of olibanum, AKA frankincense. All in all, in layman's terms, what does this smell like? It's refined. It's a little bit smoky, but not overly so, just because of the incense. It smells like tobacco. It's artistic, but at the same time, it's incredibly wearable. Now listen, in full disclosure, my wife didn't really like this one, but my wife is not one for tobacco scents. She's tried Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford. She's tried uh, Bois d'Ombre by Eau de Tali. She doesn't really like tobacco. I, on the other hand, love tobacco, but I think what we're seeing in the industry and in the perfume community is an influx of fragrances that smell like pipe tobacco or cigar smoke. This one, on the other hand, is the first fragrance that I have ever come across that actually smells like a freshly opened pack of cigarettes. And I used to smoke back when I was in my early years of high school and then uh, college, excuse me, and then I gave it up very quickly. But all in all, it's an artistic scent, it's a nostalgic scent, but at the same time, it's masculine and it has a refined quality about it. And don't get me wrong, it's not all about the tobacco because tobacco isn't even listed as a note. That's just what I'm getting. It's all about these other nuances in there like the raspberry and the incense and perhaps even a little bit of citrus up off the top. So let's go ahead and finish things off by taking a look at my rating. First up, I took a look at the uniqueness and the overall smell, and this is a super, super unique scent. I've never smelled anything quite like it, although I have made some comparisons to Hindu Grass by Nasamato, but at the same time, it's a different patchouli. It has that tobacco nuance. There's a lot of things going on in there to sort of add to the complexity of the scent. Longevity on this one is crazy. You're gonna get eight plus hours. Projection, it jumps up off the skin for the first two to three hours. It doesn't really become a skin scent up until about the seventh hour of application, at which point it has has gotten you through your workday. Now versatility, this is a masculine scent. You can wear this one dressed up, dressed down. The only thing that I would advise you to do is be cautious of those that you're going to be around because they might not be a fan of the smell of tobacco. And last up, we have presentation, and I think it's a pretty classy looking bottle. Uh, the box is very minimal construction, but it is sort of shipped very um, 
very uh, in a protected way, nothing happens to the bottle or anything. If I had to give this fragrance an overall score, and this is a totally personal rating, I would give this one a five out of five stars for the uniqueness alone. This is a super unique scent. I have never encountered anything like this before in my life. And I have tried all of his fragrances, Gardenia, Lily, even the other one, which is the newest one that just came out, Mentor. And this one I picked to review because it's by far my favorite of the four. And I have to tell you guys, please, please, please don't blind buy this scent. But if you are intrigued enough, try to get a sample. I'm gonna leave all the links down below. It's a super unique scent. I'm excited to have this one in my collection. So there you have it. That was my review of 1989 by Theo Parfum. If you own or have tried this scent, leave a comment down below. I would love to hear from you. Also, please don't forget to subscribe for future videos and don't forget to enable notifications. Remember, I smell well so you can smell good and we'll see you in the next episode. Take care.